James, I watched Campia today, and he said he heard from a source that they are thinking of replacing Ezra Miller in The Flash. Thoughts, Matt E.? I just got this one today. This was like a last minute addition to the show. So I don't know if you guys had a chance to to see or, or to hear what was mentioned on so he's talking about the, the John Campia show on YouTube. Um, I had to look at the at the rewatch of it. Um, and apparently what happened was um, John Campia reached out to sources that he had over at WB and he didn't expect to hear much from them and they got back to him and they said that um, they said that they are discussing their options in regards to Ezra Miller. Now he didn't, he couldn't say if it was, if it was in terms of him getting canned or not or replaced because they're so far along. This movie is done. It's coming out. So Andrew, you up first, Ezra Miller, where do you think uh, Warner Brothers is at on this one? Oh God, what a mess. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think that answer says it all. I don't know who can't be a source is, but the the super corporate say a bunch of stuff without saying anything at all response would have been something along the lines of, we are so proud of Ezra and our Flash product and we can't wait for fans to see our Flash product. Please consume. Um, and I think that if they had no plans to replace him, they would have went with that. They would have said, no, our Flash product is great. You will love it. Spend. Uh, but the fact that their answer was, eh, we're weighing our options, might be a way of saying without full-on saying and perhaps breaking some kind of legality issue. Yeah, there are talks happening. I just can't say anything else. So it sounds like we might be heading down that road. What does it mean for this movie, which is, like you say, almost done? Who knows? Um, I think recasting is fine. I mean, hell, we've got seven Batman. Why can't we have two Flashes? Um, so go for it if you need to, because clearly this guy's a loose cannon, and uh, you probably want Flash to stick around because Flash is an important character. So get somebody that's not going to stir up shit in Hawaii. Yeah, they got a, a real problem with the Flash right now because... The movie's done, and he's two characters, at least two characters in the movie, possibly a third character in the movie as well. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, troublesome and a lot. They can't just go in and face swap him, which is what I think. That I think just deep fake him after that movie oh, or something. That's what they need. So they need to, but then you have to do it twice. And, and if you reshoot it, it gets delayed probably even a lot more if you do that. I mean, you know, there's been a lot of of reshoots going on, but they've all been like Kevin Spacey minor roles and stuff like that. So I don't, I don't know how you get around the flash. I, for me, I think you got to get him into to rehab, get him to clean up a little bit. And then when the movie comes out, he can be like, I'm, I'm born again. I'm a good guy. I've learned my lesson. Uh, Steve, what do you think? I mean, I know you're very excited for the flash movie. First of all, do you think the flash will exist? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have a ticket yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, I think um, uh, it, it's a real tricky situation and almost a precedent setting situation. I can't recall any movie that has had that kind of a dilemma, but they also have, thanks to all the delays, they have time to figure out a course of action, whether it be to outright replace them and, and uh, you know, do, do reshoots, or like you said, put them in a rehab, bring them back out with a, try and, try and go for a better uh, public relations image. I don't know. It's 50 50 toss a coin. I'm curious. Um, what are, you know, what are the other movies he's in? He's coming out into the new fantastic beast movie. So I'm assuming you're just not going to see him promoting that at all. And they're going to, you know, distance themselves from that, but he wasn't the main cog in that movie. Whereas flash, he is the flash. He is the, the center point of it. So I, I don't know. I don't have an answer for that one. Actually you brought up a good point. They mentioned this on, on that the John Campion show today in that segment. Uh, he mentions that, um, Death on the Nile had a situation as well with Army Hammer. And they kind of just let that movie come out and didn't do too much. And Army Hammer, I think, is in like of all the trailers I've seen for it, he's in like one or two shots. I didn't even, I forgot he was in it until they mentioned it today. And I've seen people talking about Death of the Nile. So it is, you know, this has happened before. I don't know how big of a role he has in that movie because I haven't seen it yet. 
But does that, have as, th does that have as much attention as The Flash has? Because The Flash is, everybody's Not, looking for The Flash. Nothing, nothing will ever have as much attention as The Flash because it's been supposed to be coming out for the last 77 years or something <laughs> like that. Like I, Ezra Miller signed on to this film when he was baby Flash. Now he's, <laughs> he's grown up with it. Scotty, what do you think? Are we ever getting this Flash movie? Uh, yeah, we're gonna. I mean, that Flash movie's done, but uh, man, all right, here's the, the billion dollar idea, okay? Warner Brothers, you gotta listen to the fans now, all right? You're gonna go and watch the first episode of The Boys, okay? First episode of The Boys, and then you're gonna film a scene with Grant Gustin, and he's gonna come into the universe, and he's just gonna run through Ezra Miller like A Train, <laughs> and he's just gonna vaporize, and then you're gonna be like, uh, okay, I guess he's the Flash now, and then just Grant, Grant Gustin. They have a replacement. It's in universe. They've already met in person. Like, I'm an Arrowverse I think fan, you, so I endorse that. That'd be. Great. I think you walk as far away from Ezra Miller as possible. Yeah. You've done it to other actors for much less. Yeah. Let's be true. honest. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. This is an image problem that Warner Brothers already has. Cut him off. And what you just said is true too. They've done it to to actors for much less or people for much less, and now you got Ezra Miller doing stuff. Caught doing stuff, and they're like, "Dude, he yeah. threatened people's lives." Yeah. This is it. Yeah, no, it's it's like he. Need, I think he needs to get help. That's step yeah, one. Dude. So maybe maybe this is what they're they're gearing towards. Maybe it's a yeah. private matter also, and sometimes you don't go public. Maybe they don't want to go public with it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, but they've got like this is a, a conundrum on their. It's hands an entitlement. Right now. It's an entitlement thing well, too, man. He's getting away with yeah. things normal people wouldn't get away with. Well, I mean, Will Smith just lost two movies or something for slapping yeah. Chris Rock and oh, Ezra wow. Miller, like, yeah, like, cost the people singing karaoke. I mean, <laughs> I, I, uh. you know, I, it, that's a different conversation anyway. But I, for, for me, I think, I mean, the Flash movie's done, it's coming and going, but the Grant Gustin thing is what people really want. So that means it's never going to happen because people are really hyped on him. But that's, I think that's, that's, that's a viable option. It right. is, and that's why it's not going to happen. They're end up getting end up getting somebody nobody wants and is terrible, and they're going to reboot it in a year. We all you know what is something I'm going to stop saying too is uh, let's just wait for the merger. Let's just wait for the merger. <laughs> I'm done. I'm not saying it no, anymore, I'm man. I'm just um. You guys proved to me now that you can do yeah. something, and I'll, I mean, I I'll get back on board. Grant Gustin makes the most sense. He met Ezra Miller in the Crisis of, uh, on TV event, so like just just. I don't do know. A they should just, in a movie, and then no, that's well, they're they're aiming towards that, but that's a few yeah. years down the road still because yeah. they got to get to that. It's going to take a little while. I, I think you got to get there, but you got to get rid of Ezra Miller before you get there. And you can't get rid of him in this Flash movie. I mean, honestly, they have uh, they have a lot of one and done. Um, they have a lot of one and done Justice League type storylines. They could easily not return to the Flash again until they do a Snyder verse type of whatever, yeah. like. That could be way down the line. Well, I mean, we haven't got the Flash anyway, so who cares? Right. <laughs> so, like, we never got this movie either. <laughs> we're just going to shelve it and we're we'll all forget Dude, about imagine. it. Dude, you know, imagine. I, I, just... no, I, I think the two, they had a two. I think, you could, I think you, what you do is you get rid of them, you announce it sometime before or after the movie, you replace mm -hmm. him in the movie without telling anyone, then the movie ends and you reshoot an ending where a different actor is playing the Flash. And that's yep. how you just move along from it. You don't don't tell me who's playing the Flash. If it's Grant Gustin or, or yes. Johnny Depp, you don't tell me. You just kind of have it happen in the movie. And then the movie ends. We're like, oh, they moved on from Ezra Miller, and now we got that. Um, so I, it's, it's already got think... two Batman in it, right? It's not like it's Sorry. it's going to be weird in that movie to see that. And hey, what if Grant if... Gustin Sorry. wants to bring Felicity Smoke along with him, I am all on board. Dude, what if uh, this is like a thousand IQ play? from Ezra Miller and he knows this movie's not going to be good. <laughs> what if he's just like, all right, I got to get out of this contract and he's breaching it somehow. <laughs> he's, like, and he's got, look, man, Ezra Miller, for, he's got two like fantastic beasts. Think what you want about any of it. He's got two massive franchises <laughs> beneath him. But he's like, like it, fantastic. They're not going to just stop making fantastic beast movies unless this one makes $17. They're not gonna stop. So like right. he's got he's got money. He's got at least what three, two, three more of these movies coming up, and then he's got uh, what hour and many more Flash movies. He like he might have just yep. pissed away a lot of money and a lot of work, and that's, that's yep. very unfor very unfortunate. But uh, I don't know what to say. All right, you guys want to move on to our next topic? 
Yeah, please. Or sure. Steve, did you have so Steve? Did you want to say something about Grant Gustin being the Flash? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> All right. I, our next topic. Do it. Go, man. It my yes, just, you're a fan, right? I, I don't know what he's referring to. <laughs> I, 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 I'm before it. I'm, I'm a huge Arrowverse fan. I love the Arrowverse so you watch more all than of I love the, You watch all of Arrowverse, but not Flash? Yeah. 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 Dude, actually, the first couple seasons of Flash is good. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. No, I've oh, okay. watched all the Flash. That's, I'm okay, all in okay. on the Flash. Um, the only ones in the Arrowverse I haven't watched are uh, like the uh, Supergirl. I Do you guys have season. a favorite character from the Flash show? You guys all watch the Flash? From the show, my favorite character is probably Joe West. Emma oh. Frost for me. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, she's cool. I'm I'm debating. I'm debating. <laughs> you know, I didn't like Cisco at first. Cisco, I hated in the first season, but <laughs> by the end of his run, he won me over, and I was a big dude. Cisco evil fan. Cisco. 